hello and welcome to World Currency Collector. Today we're going to check out some currency from Costa Rica. We've got six Costa Rican Cologne notes here and they total about 38,005 colones. That's equal to about 70 US dollars. So let's take a look at each one of these in detail and see what we can learn about the images on these notes. Here we have a five colones paper note from 1990. You can see the date here, 24th of January, right in the top. This bill features President Rafael Iglesias Castro. He was president of Costa Rica from 1894 to 1902. It also has a purple orchid on the front, which is the national flower of Costa Rica. The front of this bill looks really cool under a black light. You can see all the security fibers pop out really well. The back of this five colones note features a mural that's painted on the ceiling of the National Theater. It's called the Allegory of Coffee and Bananas by the Italian painter Alierdo Villa. And this image is so popular that it's actually, um, this bill was reprinted multiple times just to be sold as a collector and to tourists as well. Um, I found this one for about $2. It's really easy to find in uncirculated condition. And if you notice uh, in this painting, they kind of make fun of it a little bit because it has a few problems. Um, first of all, coffee doesn't grow at sea level, so that's a little bit strange. And the gentleman in the middle holding the bananas is doing it wrong. So um, there's a little bit of humor here too. This is a one meal colones note. It's a polymer note from 2009. Uh, that's 1,000 colones. This note features Bralio Carillo Colina. He's the head of state of Costa Rica from the 1830s. It also has the Costa Rican coat of arms. There's a clear window on the right that has Colina's face and a pink window here that has the outline of Costa Rica. And you can see it a little better with a darker background pop right out. Each of the notes we're going to see today has an important figure on the front and a scene of nature on the back. And on this one mil colones, we have the bosque seco or dry forest scene and there's a white-tailed deer and some little scorpions down here in the right hand corner. This note also features the guanacaste tree. Um, it's also known as the caro caro or the elephant ear tree and it's a species of flowering tree in the pea family. The wood from that tree is lightweight and water resistant and they use it to make like doors, windows, furniture, cabinets and even ships. Also on the bottom of this note you can see the night blooming cactus from Costa Rica. It was discovered in Costa Rica but it grows from Guatemala um, to the northeastern Peru in dry forest and the coastal areas and the flowers are just massive. They're white and yellow um, and they grow up to 12 inches it also has a fruit called the pitahaya fruit. It's a bright magenta and the inside is also magenta with black seeds. And you might know one of its cousins from your supermarket called the dragon fruit. And this is the two meal colones or 2000. This blue note features Mauro Fernandez Acuna and he assisted in the founding of the Colegio Superior de Señoritas, which is the first secondary education institution in Costa Rica for women. He was declared a Benemerito de la Patria, which is a title that's given to very honorable Costa Rican persons in history. His face is also the watermark on this note. The outline of Costa Rica in an iridescent purple ink is in the top of this note and that will also appear in the next four notes as well. There's a blue security strip on the left hand side and it has the letters BCCR 2000 written into them. And this glows spectacularly under black light as well. 
This is the back of the Two Mil Colones note, and it features the Arecife Coralino, or coral reef scene. And there's a bull shark on this with a sea fan along the edges and little turtles here in the bottom corner. This bill also features the red cushioned sea star, which is a star starfish that can grow up to 20 inches in diameter. They usually have five arms, but they can have anywhere from four to seven. It's an omnivore and it feeds on the seabed sediment. It actually rakes up all of the sediment in like a heap and then it turns its cardiac stomach inside out and engulfs the whole mass. That's how it feeds. It's pretty cool. This bill also features a pearlescent design running vertically along the back. If you can see right here and each of the bills I'm going to show you next has this type of design in a different pattern on it. This is the five meal colones and this yellow note features the face of Alfredo Gonzalez Flores and he served as the president of Costa Rica from 1914 to 1917. He was an authority in financial matters and a precursor of modern democracy in Costa Rica. He was declared a national hero in 1954 and his face is also the watermark for this note. Behind him is the Banco Internacional de Costa Rica building in San Jose. It's the largest commercial bank in Costa Rica and it employs about 8,000 people. The same iridescent purple ink can be seen and then there's a purple and green security strip here on the left, very similar to the 1,000 note. The reverse of the five meal note has a manglar or a mangrove swamp with a yellow pearlescent pattern. It's kind of hard to see because this note has been circulated so heavily, but it's there. This note features a white-headed capuchin. It's a highly social and intelligent monkey. He can grow to be up to 17 inches tall and weigh up to 8 pounds. Um, this is the typical type of monkey that you would see as a companion to a street performer anywhere in the world. Also on the bottom here, there's a mangrove crab. Um, they consume leaf litter from the mangroves and they're a major source of food for young fish. They can burrow into the ground and even climb up a tree to protect themselves from danger and they're one of very few animals that can do that, um, certainly very few crabs. They're considered a keystone species in the mangroves due to their ecological significance there. This is the 10 mil colones or 10,000. The figure on this note is Jose Figueres Ferrer and he was the president of Costa Rica three times. He was a believer of peaceful democracy and abolished the country's army in a farewell to arms, nationalized his banking sector, and granted the women and blacks the right to vote. Behind him is a scene in tribute to the abolition of the army and his face is also the watermark of this note. There's a green security strip on the note that does not have the same BCCR text as the previous two. Instead, it has a shifting lenticular pattern. And this pattern really glows brightly when you put it under black light. And you can also see an additional security strip on the right hand side of the note when it's under black light. Here's the back of the 10 mil colones note. It has a bosque lluvioso or a rainforest scene with orchids along the sides in orange and some cup fungi here along the bottom. There's also a brown throated sloth. He's a three toed variety that can grow to be 31 inches tall and about 13 pounds. They sleep anywhere from 15 to 18 hours a day high up in the trees, up in the canopy and they descend about once every eight days to kind of do their thing. They can walk around upright on the ground and they even can swim as well. This note has a green pearlescent pattern that's evident uh, when you shift the note around in the light. It's very hard to see on this example because it is circulated so heavily. This is the 20 mil colones or 20,000. 
This note features a portrait of Maria Isabel Carvajal. Her pseudonym is Carmen Lira. She's the first prominent female Costa Rican writer. She was a teacher and a founder of the country's first Montessori school. She was also co-founder of the Communist Party of Costa Rica, as well as one of the country's first female workers unions. She lived from 1888 to 1949, and her face is also the watermark for this note. Behind her is a rabbit stroking a coyote or a wolf. Um, it's a scene from her book, Cuantos de Mi Tia Panchita, which is Tales of My Aunt Panchita. It's a collection of beloved folk stories. The orange security strip on this note is just like the one in the 10,000 note. It's got a shifting lenticular pattern. And under black light, you can also see an additional security strip towards the right-hand side of the note. This is the back of the 20 mil colones note, and it features the scene from Paramo, an alpine tundra ecosystem. It's typically defined as vegetation that grows above a timber line. This note has a volcano hummingbird on it. It's a tiny bird that's less than three inches long and it weighs about two and a half grams. It breeds only in the mountains of Costa Rica and Panama. There's also a sunflower on this note. It's Senecio or Stadianas. It's part of the daisy family and the scientific Latin genus name Senecio means old man. It's a stout herb, but it can grow up to five feet tall and it has little yellow flowers on it. There's also coffee plants on the right and the left. Coffee was first planted in Costa Rica in the early 19th century and it was shipped to Europe starting in 1843. It soon became Costa Rica's first major export, but in recent years it's fallen to about third place. And since 1999, Estimates say that um, tourism earns more foreign exchange than the combined exports of bananas, pineapples, and coffee from Costa Rica. And this note also has a white pearlescent ink that's really hard to see in a geometric pattern. The notes we have here from 2009 and beyond also have a braille feature for the folks who can't see the notes. Up in the upper right hand corner, if you do feel up here in the corner, you'll have various dots that can uh, help the visually impaired actually tell what note they are. As the notes become circulated, they're harder and harder to feel, um, which is kind of upsetting, but uh, this note here, the 2 mil from 2013, is crisp and you can really feel the braille on that note. I don't have it here, but there's actually also a 50,000 colones banknote, uh, a 50 mil. Um, it's a violet in color and it features a cloud forest theme on the background. Um, I don't have it because at today's exchange rate it would cost about 91 US dollars. So I haven't yet added that to my collection. Of course, if you have a copy of it, please let us know more about it at the bottom here in the comments. The five more recent notes I ordered at my local bank branch, and you have to use caution when obtaining notes through the bank because they usually send circulated notes like these. Um, it's safer, of course, because the chances of you getting a counterfeit note are much lower, but you end up sacrificing the you know, quality of the note because um, you end up getting circulated notes with marks and colors on them that you didn't want. Also, they don't always send you the notes and the denominations that you asked for. You know, I've asked for a 500 note and received five 100 notes, so you never know what you're gonna get. I hope you've enjoyed our short journey to Costa Rica today and don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you learned something today, please like the video and you can subscribe to World Currency Collector and you won't miss our future adventures. See you next time.